Yes, and uh, DCM Sri Rambal, they posted a weaker set of numbers led by the chemicals in the vinyl segment. Their margins contracted as well. Debt as well has gone up a little bit, although their sugar business has seen a good improvement. But to understand what's the way ahead, we're joined by Mr. Amit Agarwal, the executive director as well as chief financial officer at the company. Uh, hi, Amit. Good morning. Thanks so much for joining in. Well, the street is reading these numbers as a little bit disappointing, particularly on the margin front. Could you tell us what is the guidance for FY24? Last year, you grew by close to around 20%. But on this sort of a base, what is the growth you're working with? And also on a blended basis, what is the margin band? Yeah. See, uh, for the full year, if we see FY23, our revenue has been a historic, uh, historic number of about 12,000 crores. And our beta was over 1,700 crores and a pat of uh, over 900 crores. So I think it has been good numbers for the year as a whole. Now, going forward, uh, I would say, you know, the way we are looking at it, yes, there is a bit of a stress in our chemicals and vinyl business. But there are businesses like Farm Solutions, there are businesses like Finesta, which are doing well, which have become big. Sugar, we are seeing better margins going forward, given that our crush has been at a historic high, our recoveries have been better. On top of that, we are seeing a good inventory level in the country and uh, internationally, which would which should support prices. Already the international prices are, you know, are again at historic highs. So again, uh, sugar should support. So for the year as a whole, going forward, uh, like last year, we had our EBITDA margins of close to about uh, 14%. They should remain range bound, uh, maybe plus minus uh, one, two percent going forward. Mm. So, uh, Amit, uh, hi, uh, morning. <clears throat> Sorry, uh, so would the, what would FI24 revenue growth look like? I mean, do you have a number in mind? See, uh, I wouldn't have a straight number in mind, but uh, it should be a little better than this year, given that, you know, we have invested about 530 crores in H2 of FY23 in sugar. So we have a full year impact on revenue. Secondly, uh, our chemical projects uh, adding up to about uh, 2,900 crores, they will get commissioned in Q2 of FY24. So they should also add to the revenue. So better than last would be more than 20% revenue growth and margins in the mid teens. Margins, yes, as I mentioned, they will be in mid-teens. And, and better than last year will be more than 20% growth, right? Given the kind of uh, capex you put on stream. Better yeah, than last the, year? Uh, the revenue, as I said, should be maybe around 10% higher. Given that these mm. projects, you know, they take time to uh, really ramp up. Mm. It's not that mm. it will happen from day one. So, yeah. Okay. You said, uh, sorry, just to pick on that one point on sugar, you know, over the <clears throat> weekend, this is unrelated to the earnings that you've posted, but over the weekend, there were some reports in newspapers which suggested that the government may look at, uh, you know, a ban on export of sugar. Uh, I, I don't know if you if you picked up on that or is there any discussion? I mean, if something like that were to come through, this is an important election year, etc. as well, leading yeah. up all the way into the general elections next year. Uh, how yeah. do the calculations work out on the sugar side for you? See, current, this season, we should end, the domestic inventory should end at around 4.6 million tons, which is the lowest ever. Right? Last year also we had about, oh, about 6 million tons of inventory. The export quota, which was announced in this season, has already been completed. So, you know, the ban, I don't think, uh, you know, there's any ban for uh, this year. Even if you don't announce any further exports, it's absolutely fine. In next season, I think uh, the exports will definitely be lower in the sense that last year they announced 6 million tons. Next year, it should be in the range of 3 to 4 million tons. Okay. Um, Amit, uh, good morning. I have a couple of questions on the balance sheet front which may concern investors. There's been a sudden spike up in your debt. Uh, you now have a net debt of 680 crores compared to a cash of 100 crores that you had uh, last year in December. What happened suddenly? So, Sonia, this was expected. Uh, that is the guidance we've been giving to the markets as well. Uh, because uh, we have been doing our capex. Our total capex uh, is around uh, 3,500 crores of which uh, we spent close to about 2,000 crores in FY23. So that kind of a debt level was expected. Okay, so that was expected. Now, will you be taking up more debt for CAPEX? Yeah, so in FY24, there will be more debt because uh, another 1,500 crores has to go. So they will be... Uh, but then, you know, uh, we as an organization are very disciplined in terms of our financials. So even at this kind of debt level, our debt to EBITDA is around 0 0.4, 0 0.45. And uh, at the end of the debt raising cycle also, we should be in the range of around 1 to 1.5. So that's pretty comfortable debt to EBITDA. 
So when you say that your core debt will go up further, what are you looking at? Currently you're at around 700 crores. Will you take it up to 1,000 crores as your capex proceeds? Uh, what is the, you know, the target? So it should, FY24 should end in the range of around 1,500 to 1,900 crores. Oh, okay. 1,500 to 1,900 crores of debt by the end of FY24. Net debt. And you're net, debt. net debt. Okay. And you're saying that uh, this 3,500 crore capex that you announced, that's the upper limit or will you be increasing your capex as well in FY24? So as of now, this is what has been approved by the board. But given the strength in our balance sheet and our financial matrix, I do feel we have scope to do a little more. All right. Uh... We we'll leave it there. Uh, then thank you very much uh, for joining us, Amit, and uh, it's a pleasure speaking with you here on CNBC TV 18. Good luck, uh, as always. Mm -hmm. That's DCM Sriram. Lots of lines of businesses, some firing, some kind of uh, not doing all that well. I just want to make right one now. mention. Yeah. The stock is actually under a lot of pressure, perhaps because you know the debt is going to go up significantly yeah. from 700 crores to 1500 crores, and this at a time when there is weakness in the chemical business already. Mm. Uh, so pressure on the PNL, pressure on the balance sheet, perhaps something the street doesn't like. And revenue growth of 10 percent, right? Yeah. I mean, in F524 over F523, uh, so not exactly spectacular. Uh, 794, 795 stocks down about 3 percent right now.